Okay, here we are in my 2006 Chevy Impala inside the uh, engine compartment. Right now you're looking at my uh, HHO cell. It's a whole house sediment filter system and it works pretty good. Um, probably see down in there. And they got a nice little uh, drain area right here where I can uh, drain it if I need to. Uh, it's easy access if I want to add more electrolyte or not. But uh, it sure does come in handy. Um, come around here. Yeah, I had this installed uh, June 1st. That's why that's up there. Gas comes right out here. And comes around here. Comes up through here into the bubbler. Uh, it's running right now probably around 20, 21 amps. And then here is the uh, relay that I have for an extra safety measure for the electronics. That is a must. And it goes into a secondary catch here from the bubbler. Um, what this is is an old uh, fuel filter. Uh, let's put it on to the side here. Looks something like that. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, in case there's any overflow going into here, it won't go into the intake, which I've never had any problems, but it's just an extra added precaution. Here's a area here that I drilled, uh, tapped out and has a cap on it so you can empty the water just in case that should happen. Comes through here to a spark arrestor. Um, it's not really necessary from what I've told. I don't know uh, for fuel injection, but I'm all for safety and I think it should be installed just in case, especially if you're leaning out your engine on a uh, with an EFI. It's probably a good idea if you don't know if it's going to backfire or not. I don't know. I have my EFI and uh, I'll show you that in a second, uh, the area where I'm going to install it. But it comes right through here and into the uh, in intake here, the butterfly. Um, I use the idea off of Zero Fossil Fuel with his uh, Venturi. Um, I ha I'm not going to take it up now, but I have pictures. Maybe I'll share that with you on how I did it. But it's pretty close to the uh, intake, as close as I could get it. And of course, it's fused up with a 30 amp fuse here. Again, another safety measure for your electronics. Right here, what I did was instead of climbing way in the back uh, to uh, try to get to the sensor, I uh, looked at the wires and followed them back. And I used my voltmeter and I used a uh, splice device here so I won't uh, damage any of the wires anymore. It's just a little quick splice connect and I have them labeled here for the white and the green wires. Um, it's kind of weird for my uh, system here. I had it all the way up to about three volts and it just started leaning out a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll have to study up on that. Maybe somebody can help me on that. But uh, this is a crash course. Uh, this is from studying HHO and technology not knowing anything at all whatsoever all the way back uh, mid to late uh, February. And finally, in uh, June 1st, I have it installed. Haven't seen too many much gas uh, MPGs. That's because the ET is probably not in. I don't know. I'm going to go find out pretty soon. And uh, oh yeah, this cell here, this cell here at 21 amps is just a little over uh, one liter per minute. It's probably like 1,050 uh, milliliters per minute which runs at a, a MMW at about 4.25. Um, maybe if I get ambitious enough, I'll hook up a flow meter. Right now I need a little bit of work on my flow meter, but um, hopefully we'll take another uh, test on that so it's uh, not as high maintenance. Um, well, that's it. Uh, any comments or suggestions on my EP, um, feel free and how to connect it. Make sure that I got the right connections. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.